Hello everybody and welcome back to the Secret Class Dojo. Today we are going to be talking about factors. Can everybody say factors with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Factors. Factors are the numbers that are multiplied together to get a specific product. Now, if you notice, there's a little ninja character in the corner. That's going to come up later because today you are going to become a factor ninja. We're going to take, we're going to try to find the factors of 12. Okay, so 12 would be known as our product. Okay, I want to think about the number 12. And the questions I want to ask myself, well, what are the two numbers we can multiply together to get 12? Okay, so now I'm kind of thinking about 12. What numbers can multiply? I always want to start at 1 because I know that 1 times something will equal 12, okay? And 1, or in this case, I'm going to... Factor Ninja, and now I want you to do a little karate chop because we're going to chop the product. We're going to break that 12 in two. Okay, 12 is our product, and I can do 1 times 12, and that would equal 12. Okay. So I'm still going to take that 12. That 12 as my product is not going to change. I took care of 1. And now we're going to go directly to 2. I want to think, can I multiply 2 by something to get 12? Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Factor ninjas. Chop the product. We're going to chop it in half. And if you guess 6, you are completely wrong. I can multiply 2 times 6 to get a product of 12. Okay, I did 1, I did 2, now I'm going to do 3. If you go and see I'm going in a straight line that way, I do not forget any factors in between. Okay, now I think to myself, can I multiply 3 by something to get 12? Hmm. I multiply 3 by get 12. Let's see. Factor ninjas. Chop the product. And yes, we can. We can multiply 3 times 4 in order to get our product of 12. If you notice, we're breaking that 12 into two different pieces. We're chopping that product two so now i can see as of right now the product 12 has the factors 1 times 12 2 times 6 and 3 times 4 okay i did 1 2 3 now let's go to let's see if i can multiply 4 by anything oh wait a second i can see above that i can just multiply 4 times 3 now this is where I want to stop, it's a repeat, stop, it's a repeat, stop, it's a repeat. The reason I'm not going to write 4 times 3 is because I already have that factor pair above. Let's say that me, Miss Wallen, and Miss A are partners. Okay, so if I say Miss Wallen and Miss A are partners. Well, Miss A and Miss Wall and our partners are the same exact thing. I'm just changing the way I say it. That's why I stop because it's a repeat. So I can see that the factors of 12 are, I'm going to stop from the top and I'm going to write 1, 2, and 3 because that's what I see on my left side. I'm going to go down, over, okay, so I took care of my factors on the left side. Now let's take care of the factors on my right side. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to write 4, 6, and 12. 
So I can see that all of the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, if I wanted to say my factor pairs, I know that pairs are a group or two of something. So my factor pairs would be 1 and 12 because I would multiply that equal to my product. I could do 2 and 6 because that equaled my product. And 3 and 4, that also equaled my products. I hope today's lesson on factors helped you. And now you are officially a factor ninja.